Hello and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In today's short video, I thought that I'd go back to basics and show you guys and girls how to connect your Raspberry Pi to Wi-Fi. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to browse the internet without any more of those restrictive Ethernet cables. And now, due to the fact that there have been a few changes in Raspbian, it is easier than ever to set up Wi-Fi, so stay tuned. Here's what you'll need in this video. First off, you'll of course need a Raspberry Pi. This tutorial will work with every model, so it doesn't matter whether you have an older or different board than the Pi 2 that I'll be using. Make sure that your Pi is up to date with the latest version of Raspbian, which you can download from the Raspberry Pi Foundation's website. As per usual, you'll also require the normal peripherals, such as a USB keyboard, mouse, screen, etc. Next, you'll need a USB Wi-Fi dongle, as the Raspberry Pi does not have onboard wireless capabilities. These are very cheap, and most should be compatible with the Pi. On the elinux.org wiki, there's a full list of compatible USB Wi-Fi adapters, and so you can check if you're worried that your particular dongle might have any compatibility issues. Also, if you need to purchase a Wi-Fi dongle, then note that the Foundation recently released an official one that will of course definitely work with the Pi. They cost just £6. In this video, I'll be using a dongle from the Pi Hut. Again, this was picked up for £6, and I found it to be a very lightweight and reliable adapter indeed. Links to everything I've mentioned are in the description below. And that's all you'll need in this video. Now to get on with it and set up Wi-Fi. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is set up correctly with the keyboard, mouse and monitor all connected. Then plug in your USB Wi-Fi dongle to one of the USB ports. If you're using a Raspberry Pi model such as the A+, which only has one USB port, then a USB hub will be necessary for the initial setup of Wi-Fi. After you've set up Wi-Fi in your Pi, it will connect to the network automatically whenever it boots so you can unplug your hub with its mouse and keyboard etc if you so desire. Now plug power into your Pi, log in and start up the desktop environment with the command startx. As I mentioned before, setting up Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi is now very simple. A few software changes from the foundation have sped this process up immensely. Previously you had to fiddle around in the terminal and with Wi-Fi configs, but this is not the case anymore. So, simply go up to the top right hand corner of the screen and you should see a small icon like this. This is the network connection icon, and in order to connect to a Wi-Fi network, all you need to do is click it a few moments after your Pi has finished booting into the desktop. After you've clicked it, a drop-down menu will appear, and you can simply select your Wi-Fi network. After this, a password prompt will open. All you have to do is enter your password and click OK. Voila! Your Raspberry Pi is now connected to the internet. It really is as simple as that. If you have no options here, that means that your Wi-Fi dongle hasn't been recognized. Try troubleshooting on the eLinux compatible dongles page to see whether your USB adapter has any known compatibility issues with the Raspberry Pi. Once you're connected to the internet, you can proceed to browse the web via the Epiphany browser. With the latest updates from the foundation, you can even watch YouTube. With an internet connection, you can also download software via the terminal. If you'd like to find out your IP address for SSH, all you have to do is type the command ifconfig into a terminal. Your IP address is this one here. And that is all for this tutorial. Today we went back to basics and I've taught you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to the internet over Wi-Fi. Make sure to subscribe, like and share for more Raspberry Pi tutorials, reviews and informational videos. Stay tuned and until next time, bye!